So, let's talk about what I've been up to. Now, as some of you might know, just over a month or so back, I released my first ever, ever game. And if you didn't know, the link's in the description. Now, granted, I might not have beaten Minecraft to the number one slot of best-selling ever game, but as far as a rough around the edges first attempt from a relatively unknown indie developer goes, I'd say the reception could be best described as, yeah, it's all right. Now, of course, this is in part down to you beautiful people and your support. So if my future self has done his job properly, there should be a list of special shout outs appearing here. So seriously, a big thanks to all of you. Anyway, after the release, I disappeared for a little bit. That's mostly because I've been working on this site with this man. Ignore the shrimp, it's not important. Sadly, these projects cost money to make and they don't fund themselves yet. So I have to find the money somewhere and what better way to do that than making use of my background in construction. With the funding taken care of, it's definitely time to get started on the next one. You know, get that tricky second release out there and ready to go. Now, initially I thought we could have a bit of fun with this. You know, something like a 24 days to Christmas countdown thing. You know, make a bit of a developer's advent calendar of it. Or if there's one thing I learned from the last project, it's that I really, really enjoy stupidly tight deadlines. I'm, I'm sure some of you remember my can I finish a game in five days countdown in October. Yeah, that sort of thing. So a 24 day countdown to Christmas seemed like a good idea. Now, the more astute of you watching have probably worked out the problem with this one, as I didn't think of the idea until the 3rd of December, and by the time this video goes up, it's probably gonna be the 4th. So now the big question becomes, can I finish a game from start to finish in under 20 days? No, of course I can't. It's an incredibly dumb and ambitious idea, doomed to failure. I have nothing planned out, and no idea where I'm gonna start. So this gives me two options, really, I suppose. I mean, we've got option one. I don't do it. I don't risk ultimately wasting my time, failing in the end, and then looking like a massive dumbass. Or, of course, there's option two. My personal favourite, which is, I run with it anyway because it might be a bit of a laugh. I'm sure you can guess which one I went with, but if you're struggling, there's a hint in the title of the video. So... Let's do this then. So first off, we're going to need a simple set of guidelines. Um, a few basic design rules that I'm going to try and meet. Number one, we want a short, complete, playable horror experience. So that one kind of speaks for itself, really. It's got obviously. Number two, on the note of obviously, we should have a Christmas theme to it because, well, it'd be a shame not to really, wouldn't it? Number three, it should take the mechanics of my last project and build upon them. Basically, we want more of the same, but with a little bit extra sprinkled on top. I've got no idea how I'm going to pull this off, but it's going to be fun finding out. So, if you want to see how this train wreck plays out, you can subscribe to the channel down below, follow me at Professor Stitch on Twitter and Instagram, and if you haven't tried out the last game for yourself, it's up for free on Itch.io, so hit the link in the description and give it a go. And with that, I suppose I'd best get to work, so until next time, goodbye, and remember to play nice.